When I tell people I skipped college to become an entrepreneur, people often ask, well, what do you do all day? What does your regular day-to-day -day look like? And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what my normal day-to-day -day routine looks like as an entrepreneur in her 20s. When I wake up in the morning, I wake up multiple hours before my alarm clock goes off because I am just lit up with this excitement to run my business. And I know people talk about decision fatigue when it comes to being a business owner, which is why I structure my breakfast like this. When I wake up in the morning, I don't wanna be bombarded with choices because the only choices I should be making should have to do with increasing my revenue and signing more clients. Ah. I love keeping my laptop in the fridge overnight because it makes it easier to get my high priority tasks done in the morning. And for breakfast, I just drink an organic probiotic smoothie. After I get some high priority tasks done working from my fridge, I'll then usually try to get some yoga in in the mornings. You guys are coming along. But what I will do is get some stretching in and make it look like I just woke up in this beautiful, beautiful location and like this is something that happens every single morning. That's the part about entrepreneurship that nobody tells you. It's gonna be harder than you could ever imagine. And the Oh, and if you were wondering, yes, when I wake up, my hair is already perfectly brushed. That's just how entrepreneurs function. I wake up fully clothed because it makes me more productive and then I don't have to waste time getting dressed. So I'll stay in the same clothes for multiple weeks on end because then I can spend more time signing more clients and less time making unimportant decisions like clothing. Now, do you need to make a lot of money? Yes, yes. It's disrespectful to your family to not make a lot of money. But if you sacrifice your family to chase money and you lose your family, you'll get money one day and you'll be miserable. Okay, I think now it's time to take a cold plunge because, I mean, if you're an entrepreneur too, you know that the only, the only thing that's a necessity to be an entrepreneur is not to start your own business, but to do a cold oh. plunge. I'm actually gonna take my laptop out of the fridge here. That way my laptop uh, can heat up while I'm cooling down. Let's go outside. It is just so beautiful here. Just trying to open these doors. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Brisk, cold morning, nothing like it. Sometimes after I take my cold plunge in the morning, I like getting in the sauna afterwards to make sure that I get, you know, both of the positives. And then sometimes after I take a sauna, I like getting in the hot tub just to make sure I get all three things done in one go round. Let's set you guys up here. And I think it's pretty self-explanatory that I don't ever wear a swimsuit because putting on a swimsuit takes way too much time. I just do everything in my work clothes because then I save time. Okay, let's take a cold plunge before I then go inside and work with more clients. Ooh. Ah. Despite my reaction to getting in this cold plunge, I actually do this all the time. And it's totally normal for me. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Now, while I take a cold plunge in the morning, I like to think through all the passive revenue I made the night before. And actually, last night a new member joined us inside the creator circle. So I actually made $97 while I was sleeping, which is pretty amazing. And although that won't pay my mortgage this month, I still think it's a pretty impressive stat. Now, I'm gonna tell you that the reason I'm not going under is because I'm mic'd up right now, but actually the reason I'm not going under is because this is miserable. It's times like this that I just learned to embrace discomfort because that is the definition of being an entrepreneur. Okay, we're gonna pretend that that was 25 minutes. And I know you guys are probably wondering, Maureen, when did you get your five mile run in? And it's actually ironic because I actually did it before I woke up this morning and you guys just weren't here to, you know, see me run my five miles. Okay, now I gotta find my keys. That way we can unlock the sauna. Oh, so cold. <clears throat> 
<laughs> you know what? We're gonna skip the sauna today. Although I usually do it every single morning. I have no idea where my keys are. It's probably because I'm too busy being, you know, locked in my house working with clients that I just have no idea where my keys are. You know what? Let, let's, let's get some yoga in this morning. I know I'm currently soaking wet, but yoga is just a really great way to align your mind and body. And you're probably wondering, Maureen, why is this all filmed in one take? Why is there no editing or very minimal editing? Well, it's because I don't have time to film multiple takes. I'd rather spend my time on productive activities like working with clients and growing my business. And actually today, I am coaching two groups. One, I'm coaching my group clients inside the Creator Accelerator. So we're gonna work together to help these entrepreneurs grow their personal brands and increase their income. And then actually after that, I will be coaching more entrepreneurs to help them grow their social media and increase their income. Um, so I'm just coaching, you know, two large groups of people this morning. That's just, you know, the norm. Let's get some yoga in because that's something I definitely do every single morning. I can't believe you guys couldn't even see me cold shower. Cold plunging is definitely not productive enough, which is why I make sure to cold shower every morning as well. Let's get some yoga in, shall we? Okay. It feels so good to know that I'm probably making income as we speak. Pretty nice, right? You guys might not be able to tell, but that was actually filmed in time lapse. So I just finished a three hour yoga session before you guys could even blink twice. Pretty amazing how entrepreneurs are just so productive every single day, right? Let's go inside and chat through what my plan is for the rest of the day, what my you know weeks look like. That way you guys can get a more accurate representation of what it's like to be a true entrepreneur. Oh, I'm still so cold. All jokes aside, I wanna talk with you guys about what my day-to-day -day routine actually looks like as an entrepreneur because some of those things I do do, and some of those things, let's be real, nobody is that productive. So right now, I'm actually at an Airbnb. This is not my house. Um, I'm at an Airbnb for two days because I am locking myself here to get more work done. And I'm not even kidding, like I have so much work to get done that I do have an action item list of like 35 items. I started my business two years ago, and you know, a majority of my days for the first two years were me sitting in my house uh, working like 12 hour plus days. I, <laughs> I literally had an era in my business that I called my peanut butter era because I didn't have time to eat lunch, but I used to eat spoonfuls of peanut butter in between coaching calls just to keep my energy up in the mornings. I do wanna say that sometimes when you see those entrepreneurship videos on YouTube, they make it out like being an entrepreneur is the best thing ever. And while I absolutely love running my coaching business, helping people grow their social media personal brands and increase their recurring revenue. That's something I absolutely love doing, but most of my days aren't spent in an Airbnb. I rarely ever do cold showers anymore. There was a phase in my business where I was doing consistent cold showers because I thought that by doing a cold shower that meant you were the definition of productive. But here's what my routine actually looks like today. So. This morning I am leading my group call from 11 to 12. So this is my group coaching program where I work with entrepreneurs to help them grow their personal brands. And then after that, I'm coaching another group to help them scale on TikTok. In the last two years, I grew my TikTok to, I think we're at like 44,000 followers now. And I used to hate TikTok. I thought it was a platform for dancing teenagers, but now a majority of my clients find me from TikTok and it is the website that makes the most passive income. And earlier in the video, I mentioned that I made $97 passively last night and that actually wasn't a joke. A new person joined my Creator Circle membership at $97 a month. They joined at 2.35 a.m. I actually just launched my membership because it's a place where I show people exactly how to grow your Instagram, how to grow your TikTok, how to grow your YouTube, 
all in one place and how I set up my coaching business to be able to work for myself and run a business that enables me to, you know, put an Airbnb on my business card. So I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek. That way you can kind of see what my business actually looks like. Um, this is my membership, The Creator Circle. So I coach entrepreneurs in how I plan 30 days of content in one sitting with my content planning spreadsheet, how I master how I film content and like the way I show up. So like going through exactly the way to structure content to convert that directly into sales, growing on TikTok, creating your first digital product, how I used rejection therapy to build my dream life. You guys might know me as the rejection therapy girl from that viral <laughs> YouTube short, TikTok and Instagram reel. The I was the girl that applied to Harvard as a joke. And then I go through automated content repurposing, landing your first online client, YouTube growth. I also have an Instagram module. But so often I talk to entrepreneurs and they say that they're not able to post content for their personal brand every day because it's a struggle. And that's exactly why I created the Creator Circle membership because I wanted to have a place where entrepreneurs could learn exactly how I automatically download my TikTok content into Google Drive. And then from Google Drive, I repurpose that to post. Right now I'm posting 60 YouTube shorts a month to grow my personal brand. We just recently passed 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, which when I say that I sound like an influencer, but it's true, like it's just crazy that when you have an automated content repurposing system set up and when you're speaking in content in a way that converts clients, it's so powerful what a personal brand on social media can do for an entrepreneur. So my day realistically today is going to look like two coaching calls. I'm gonna be filming new exclusive content for my members inside the creator circle. You might know me from YouTube content, but a majority of my time is spent filming content right now, is spent filming content for my current clients because I share free value on YouTube, but I don't share everything for free. I put a lot of stuff into the membership. So that's how I'm gonna be spending my day. And then I might run into town and grab lunch because I actually don't have much food in the fridge here. Thank you for coming along on this totally realistic day in my life as a 20 year old entrepreneur. <laughs> Bye guys.